but if you are a European, just take a look at some of the, the voting rights over at the IMF. If you can get the US behind you and you're a European, you're almost in the home run because the Europeans control around about 30% of the IMF, the United States at 17%, the Japanese 6.3%, but as I say, you can see Germany, France, UK have a great block of shares amongst themselves, and the Chinese have 3.8%, Saudi Arabia, Jeff, 2.8%. Don't fancy going for that? $400,000? Uh, what would you do without me if I left and went off and did something else at the IMF? As if they would ever put me on the list anyway. I would be very sad. Steve, thank you. Uh, Michael wrote in from Los Angeles earlier on and said, uh, why isn't anybody talking about that elite meeting in San Moritz? Is anybody covering the Bilderbergs? Well, let's, let's make Michael happy. The very exclusive and elusive Bilderberg meeting is underway in the idyllic Swiss countryside of summer it's it's uh, usually um, not easy to find out what is going on there uh, Carolyn is our correspondent in Zurich have you had any success Carolyn well, I've been finding out that the names of two of the participants, they're members of the board, it's Josef Ackermann, the CEO of Deutsche Bank, and the chairman of Novartis, Daniel Vazella. But again, they're on the board, and apart from that, I have no clue who is attending, and that is really what makes this meeting so special. The, the exclusiveness and, of course, the, the secretive way of how they're going about this conference, and that's why it's so fascinating to the outside world. Again, it's entirely close to the media. It's a gathering of around 120 of the world's most influential and powerful men and women. It is said to include kings and queens of this world, CEOs, politicians, and monetary policy makers. Uh, in the last couple of years, attendees were Dominique Strauss-Kahn, of course, he's not going to attend this year. Bill Gates and German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Now, I have to disappoint you. Don't expect anything concrete to come out of this meeting. No treaties are signed. No press sta statements are going to be made. Really, it's just an exchange of ideas about current topics. And topping the agenda this year is going to be the Arab Spring, but also the U.S. involvement in Libya. According to one report, attendees at Bilderberg are pushing for a great greater U.S. involvement or invasion into Libya. They're also expected to discuss the power and the perils of the Internet and the U.S. and the Eurozone debt situation. So nothing that we haven't discussed before, but again, the fact that it's so fascinating is the fact that it's so exclusive and there are a lot of conspiracy theories about this very conference. For example, one report says that Rumsfeld has in fact planned the invasion into Iraq at this Vera meeting back in 2003. Back over to you. Okay, thank you very much indeed uh, for that, Carolyn. Okay, um, and if you want to.